Hey friends, Karen Basket DIYer here. Thank you guys so much for stopping by for another fun Tumblr tutorial with me. Okay, if you're new here, welcome. I truly appreciate you being here. Some of my t tutorials can be crazy and fun and I never know how they're gonna go. This one went amazingly well. I am just really excited to show you this one because I looked high and low to see if there were other ones out there like this and I found nothing just like this. So what I'm about to show you today is my design for a pineapple tumbler. Um, you may look at that and go, okay, it's a pineapple tumbler. I don't know. I just feel like it, what I did here is pretty special and really puts out a true pineapple vibe. Uh, very realistic looking maybe, I guess. Maybe I just think that. But anyways, um, just stay tuned, follow along, and I will walk you through the steps and show you how I did this. Again, this one may be a little bit lengthy because I'm showing you um, how I created my pattern and everything in design space. So. Here we go. Also, real quick, I wanna say, if you're enjoying this video, give me a thumbs up, like, subscribe, um, share it. If you think it will be helpful to someone else, share, click that share button, okay? Thanks so much. Okay, so now that my spray paint is nice and dry, I can move into my alcohol inks. I have gone a whole different direction with this tumbler than what I had originally thought about. I have like 10 different ideas swimming in my head. So I am gonna be using the Tim Holtz Ginger. Okay, I don't think I can mess this part up. I'm gonna shake that up pretty well. I'm also gonna be using Let's Resin Green. Let's start with some alcohol. Okay, stop. Now then I'm gonna take my green and I am only gonna put my green on the tip of my brush. Hopefully you can see this green on my brush, directly on my brush. And spritz just a little bit of fresh alcohol on there. And kind of just sporadic and random. After I let this dry for a little bit, I'm gonna step out and seal this with this Kamar varnish. Um, it dries really quick and you know, it's um, it will still have to be gassed off. Everything that I'm doing right now, because I'm gonna be using Crystal Act, will have to gas off for 48 hours, but I can layer all these things on top of each other and then let them all gas off for 48 hours and it'll be great. So I'm just trying to like move along quickly and get a lot done on this cup before my first layer of bright tone. Okay, you guys, in case you haven't figured out yet, I like to do things on my own. I like to create my own patterns, um, designs, whatever. Okay, so I just went into Cricut Design Space and I searched right up here, diamond patterns. And I'm gonna apologize. I don't know how to stink and screen record. So this is as good as it gets for me. <laughs> I don't have the awesome setup that some of these YouTubers do. So anyways, okay, I chose this funky little diamond pattern. And then you go over here and you choose a square, okay? You unlock it and you put it where you want it. I'm just gonna put it right here. And then I'm gonna say slice, move it, delete. Delete, delete, back to shapes. Get another square. Unlock it. <laughs> Group it together, slice. And I'm just gonna do it like this. Delete, delete. Move it over here, do the same thing. Slice. with using this again. I'm just gonna unlock it. Just make it wider. Select that. Right, group it and then slice it. 
Okay, so now I have this little waffly X pattern. See where I'm going here? I am just going to duplicate it, line it up, Weld. Oh, undo. Um, I had it too close, so you kind of have to adjust it, I guess, to make sure you don't, you know, close in and weld that pattern together. Ah, still doing it. Um, because they're too close together. Okay, I've got to figure this out, and as soon as I do, I will tell you how I did it. Hold on just one second. So I went over to shapes and I got a diamond. Just gonna make sure it's the same. Close enough. And I'm gonna slice it. Look at that, it's perfect. And I'm just gonna continue doing this until I have all these little diamonds sliced out. Doing stuff like this can definitely save you a buck or two when it comes to tumblers. We all know tumbler making is not cheap. And I there are times that I totally go online and purchase from you know Etsy shops and support other small businesses and so yeah okay so here's my pattern I can now manipulate this and make this as big small wide short fat whatever as I want so I am just going to decide on what size cup I want to do and then adjust it accordingly Okay, so because I don't want this to be so incredibly sticky when I put it on, because I don't want, number one, my um, transfer tape to pull my varnish off of my cup, because I have decided I'm not doing a layer of Crystal Act just yet. Okay, so I just have this rag, and I am basically taking some of the tack off of the back of this. Just enough to stick, but yet come off easily. Okay. Alrighty, so my varnish dried overnight. Um, yes, I'm still wearing the same thing that I wore yesterday because I really don't care. I work from home. It's all good. Um, okay, so I, like I showed you earlier, I tried to get as much tack off of this as possible because I don't want it to super strongly stick to my cup because I'm a little bit nervous. I'm remove it from my little holder maybe. It's like super tough in there. Just want to line this up. I tried to, you know, line my grid up with my diamonds pretty well. We're just going for it. Hey, not bad. That was pretty easy, actually. <laughs> okay, it lines up pretty well. It overlapped just a little, but that is not a big deal, people. I'm pretty dang impressed. All right, now then, let's just hope that when I peel this, it sticks.
now then I'm gonna just run out, give this a very light coat of spray paint, and then hit it with yellow alcohol ink. Or maybe I should spray paint it yellow. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. No, I'm doing alcohol ink because I really like that look. Kind of the marbly, realistic pineapple look. Okay, I'm just gonna do the very, very light coat of white on this. Just enough that'll hold my yellow inks. Kind of still see the marble, I mean, of the green and brown below underneath. But I don't want it to be like stark white. So that should dry pretty quick. Oh my goodness, you guys, I'm so sorry that somehow or another my stinking phone storage uh, filled up and messed up my recording of the application of the yellow to the cup. So I just used this foam brush, this um, yellow ink from Lutch Resin and my 91% alcohol. I sprayed my foam brush and then I put ink on the brush and then I just vigorously wiped it all over the cup, right over the top of that vinyl and um, let that dry for just, you know, 10 minutes maybe. I don't even think I let it dry that long. And then I immediately moved into removing the vinyl, which you are about to see. Again, so sorry about that. That's what I used. I'm actually just gonna use a touch of ginger on that same yellow brush. Okay, you guys, I think this looks so amazing. So I'm going to spray this with a coat of the Kamar varnish that I showed you earlier. Let that dry 48 hours, um, then mix a little bit of white diamond mica powder in with my first layer of bright tone and apply that to this cup. And ah, I can't wait till it's done. I have a super cute decal that I'm gonna put on it and it's gonna be amazing. Okay, I'm moving on to my second layer of bright tone and this time I'm gonna remember to add my mica powder, my white diamond to give this pineapple tumbler a nice shimmer. White diamond mica powder. And I am apologizing right now for the bad lighting. <sighs> and the kitty cat that's crying in the background. She always thinks she needs in here, but she's not allowed. So my plan was to use really pretty vinyl, um, this metalized mist, but for some reason I cannot get the right setting on my Cricut to cut this without tearing up the letters every time. So if anybody has a solution for this, because this drives me flipping crazy every time I try to use it. So drop your suggestions in the comments, please, please, please. Okay, another attempt at cutting my vinyl. This time I just went with a mirrored silver vinyl. Really hopeful that I can weave this out without it tearing it up too bad. By the way, I did purchase this SVG on Etsy and I will link it for you in the description below. Okay, so I finally got my vinyl situated. I ended up just going with a mirrored silver vinyl and from Expressions Vinyl. You know, I've tried to use that metalized mist in different ones several times, and there have been times that I've been able to get it to work just fine. 
but today it gave me fits. I used several different settings, nothing helped. So it's all good. We're just gonna go with this mirror vinyl. Um, it's still really pretty and I think it'll stand out and look just fine. So I'm just applying my first layer of bright tone over the vinyl. So all in all, this is my third layer of bright tone on this whole entire cap. Remember, if you're um, new here and this is your first time watching one of my videos, bright tone is non-toxic. You do not have to wear, you know, PPE. You can apply it with your hands as I'm doing right here. Kind of freaks people out sometimes. So um, it's always nice to explain. And, and I've told you this before in my other videos, this has been the best change for me ever. No more allergies, no more itchy skin, no more coughing, no more um, breathing issues. I don't have to wear a respirator, don't have to open my windows, don't have to vent my room. Just so, so many perks and positive things with this bright tone. Um, yes, it does take a bit longer. Um, you have to apply layers every four hours and do level sands over your vinyl or glitter or any rough spots that you encounter, but that's how simple it is to apply a layer of bright tone. Also, no mixing parts. It just comes in a tub. I transfer it over into this little squirt bottle and you're good to go. Now then, I'm gonna go wash my fingers off real quick, and then I'm gonna be just sprinkling a little bit of glitter up top here. Um, I'm gonna be using Jade, sorry, trying to get that in focus, Jade by Maker Flow, and just give it a little extra pizzazz up top. So I've let my cup spin for about five minutes just to let my bright tone set up so it doesn't uh, continue to run too much. I'm just gonna take this glitter and sprinkle a little bit in my hand. Because again, I just want this to be super light, okay? And I'm just going to start sprinkling it up top a little. heavy enough on the green glitter. I didn't go heavy enough. So I am about to add more green glitter. I don't have any fine green glitter, so I'm just gonna be using the little shaker holes and shake out as much of the fine as possible of this jade and get it a little heavier around the top here. Gotta go wash my hands real quick. I'm just gonna stick it back on my turner and keep it going. Okay, you guys, after several layers of bright tone on top of that glitter and a level sand and then a couple more layers, I was able to achieve this beautiful, beautiful shine. Um, I personally think that the pineapple look right there is just amazing. I'm so, so pleased with how this turned out. So I would love to hear from you in the comments below. Let me know what you're thinking. Let me know how you feel about it. Love it. Hate it. Let me know. I don't care. And um, while you're here, I hope that you will like, subscribe, and follow, share this video, and help someone else out. Thanks so much for watching.